Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. We are here today with some pretty cool content. We're using E6 Connect. Uh, we have it hooked up to our FlightScope Mevo Plus and there is a course that some people don't know about. It is called the Brian Bros Skills Challenge. This course is a par three course with some wild holes that are really cool. I wanted to demonstrate them for you guys. A lot of people have been asking for some on course play and I couldn't leave this one out. It is something that is a lot of fun and I want you guys to see it if you're considering getting the software. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it, it helps me. And let's go ahead and dive into this. So we are on a 101 yard, about five feet downhill. Uh, shot looks like an island shot very cool I'm gonna grab a 58 degree because I think I can get this thing there it should carry a little longer maybe like 98 uh, to 100 yards if I can get a hold of this thing um, hopefully maybe just spin back a little bit towards the pin and see if we can do it that should be a pretty decent shot Oh, look at this. Give me some spin. Too much zip. I'm going to keep it within the friend zone, though. Look at that. Eight feet away. That's going to be a gimme. Love it. Very cool hole. As always, our FlightScope Mevo Plus is seven feet behind the ball, and we are ten feet from the ball to the screen. A lot of people have been asking about my simulator setup. It is a screen that's about 13 feet wide, 8 feet tall, and the room itself is a little over 15 feet wide, and it's 11 foot ceilings, um, so it's, it's quite a big room. Um, I use a Sony WXUGA projector. Its native resolution is 1920 by 1200, um, but I do run 1080p on my screen, and the reason for that is, is that my computer is a 4K monitor, and that format needs to be the same 16.9 format to allow me to use touch screen properly and show the proper uh, format on here without stretching the image. Uh, there's just no way to get around that and I think it looks great. Um, so it fills up the full width. I just have a little black bar on the bottom and top and I like it a lot. So look at this hole. <laughs> Holy moly. 140 yards, 12 feet downhill, but look at the size of that green. I mean, I guess I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge, and uh, man, I'm just gonna have to try to keep this thing as straight as possible. This is a tough shot. No wonder they call it the skills challenge. Oh, I pulled that one really hard. That might have the distance, but look at this. Man, I had the perfect distance, but I pulled that thing bad. Let's see what uh, what they're going to tell us here. Probably take a drop, I would assume. Let's take a mulligan. Let's hit this again. I mean, I want to hit the green. All right, I could have hit re-hit, I guess. All right, let's see here if we can get one a little closer. Got to keep those hands forward a little too far inside. Out and closed. That's been my problem lately. And look at this. I overcorrect. I push it to the right. The struggle is real. So let's let's try this one more time. Oh man. I want to get on that green. Rehit. At least I had the distance right. Looks like I just need to keep this thing straight. All right, come on, let's stick one close. I always try to keep it real on the channel here and not try to hide the bad shots because there's plenty of them. Why not see it all, right? Look at this. Look at this. Oh, and it's within the friend zone, nine feet out. So obviously I pulled that thing pretty hard the first time. I overcorrected and pushed it to the right, found the sweet spot, and got that thing within the friend zone. So very cool. Wow, look at this hole. I love how they're par threes. I mean, you can play them fast. They look really cool. I mean, look at the elevation and everything here. So this is a 190 yard shot, but it's 23 feet downhill. 
So, I mean, I'm going to take off, you know, seven or eight yards off that. Um, I should be able to get my six iron there. Let's give it a try. Look at the hill coming down on that green. I mean, this is going to be a very challenging hole. If I just hit these three dots and hit my drone, I can fly forward. I like that, how you hit the three dots in the bottom and you hit your drone and you can fly up on the, the hole if you need to. Check it out. I mean, I think I need to land this thing to the left because no matter what, it's going to roll towards the hole. So let's put our pin just a little to the left. I mean, I tend to have, you know, a draw. Let's see if I can actually just draw this thing just a little bit and bring it up on that hill. That would be optimal. Oh, that was just a four strike there. And look at this. The distance, once again, was decent. It was just a poor contact. You know, I tried to, tried to aim a little right. I tried to close the face down and uh, just was not the best strike in the world. I would have had a decent chip here, but you know, let's go ahead and hit it again. Where is, there we go. Let's see if we can get it closer. And that's the whole point of going out on these courses is to, to practice and have fun. And you can always hit your practice button and, and hit from wherever you want on the course, which is really cool. I like that as well. You don't have to just sit on the driving range, go out on the course and practice. It's closer, but it's a little right still. A little too much distance, but look at this ball roll down. Ooh, tough. Very tough. Wonder how that putt's gonna be. Why don't we putt? Let's see how hard this green really is. Grab my ball. I always hit with a metallic dot. And then when I'm putting with the Mevo Plus, no metallic dot on the ball. And then I make sure my soft strike mat here is not sticking up. Um, when I hit down a lot, sometimes it might come up on the edges. I do that because I don't want anything obstructing the view. I want a nice flat surface, so I always do that. I mean, would it make a big difference? I don't think so necessarily. 38 feet, one foot uphill. This is a tough putt. Oh man, I think I crushed it. I hit it 12, 13 feet past the hole. <laughs> I thought that foot uphill, I really needed to get a hold of it. And uh, man, I crushed that thing. I'm still like 18 feet away. Holy moly. Let's see if I can get one in the hole here and get out of here. I have a feeling that's a pretty decent putt. No? Still uh, still hitting it too hard. Looks like I'm gonna have to get my putting fine tune there. I'm usually pretty decent at putting. All right, so friend zone, let's check out the next hole. All right, number 13. Looks like you either have to go up and over or you need to play a huge fade around. So. I'm going to actually try to go up and over because I think that I can. Now, are they trying to trick you there? Do they, they, do they want you to try to go up and over? Because down here on the map, it shows that you need to go around. Let's give it a try. I'm going to put the ball a little forward in my stance, and that way I hopefully get a little more launch on it, keep it up a little higher. Let's see. Oh, I just made it over. That was an eight iron. Get me some bounce. Oof, not enough though. Not enough. I thought that was a pretty decent hit though. I didn't have to go around. I'm gonna grab my putting ball again here. See if I can actually get one. You know, the way it should, so 29 feet. 
one inch uphill. I know how far this is. I know how to hit this. Let's see if I can do it. 29 feet. I feel like that's pretty close. Man, I'm just hitting them a little past the hole today, but you got to get it there. Within four feet, not bad. All right, I'm on the back nine because I played the front nine before. I have not played the back nine, and I figured it'd be worth checking out. Holy moly, look at the slope on that green. Let's go ahead and do our flyover. Whoops. Let's go ahead and do our flyover again with the drone. It's going to have us go through the trees. Look at the pin position. Holy cow. So that's 172 yards, but it's 60 feet downhill. I mean, that is, uh, that's taken off about 20 yards. So can I take a nine iron? Aim a little left is what I'm thinking. Aim over here because I know if I land it there, it's going to roll down. Let's see if I can grab an iron iron and get it up and over those trees. Wow. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm playing that late cloudy sunset sky, which I think is really cool. You can see the, the bushes and trees are moving. I will tell you that because the Mevo Plus sends the accurate data to E6, E6 uses its algorithm to calculate the amount downhill, but you don't have a wind factor. So they don't want the algorithm messing with the accuracy of the Mevo Plus, so um, you do not have wind, which I kind of like. I'd rather work on my you know, neutral distances without trying to calculate you know, off of an algorithm. Okay, it's a little left like I wanted it. Will it hit and roll? Roll ball? Roll towards the pin. <laughs> hey, I'll take that all day. I think that's actually a decent putt now. Let's see how far away it says. It says I'm only 16 feet away. Let's try to sink it for a birdie. All right, I'll grab my putting ball really quick. 16 feet, uphill three inches, which means I would normally hit that for about 18, 18 feet or so. Oh, hit the edge of the cup. I mean, I, I must have hit that just a tad too much. Almost had my birdie. I mean, it went around the edge of the pot that close. Man. Well, I think this has been an awesome demonstration of just one more of the fantastic courses on E6 Connect. Um, please like and subscribe, like I said before, and comment below and let me know what you think of this Brian Bros, you know, skill shot course that they have. Let me know about what else you want to see, whether it be on E6 Connect or something else questions about the FlightScope Mevo Plus, know that I have a link with special uh, pricing in the description. If you're looking for anything, comment and let me know. Odds are I work with someone who probably has what you're looking for and I can hook you up. So as always, I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.